Well, this is Brother Fred W. Franz talking, and I was privileged to come to the Brooklyn Bethel home in 1920, June the 2nd, and uh, we celebrated Christmas. Uh, there were great preparations made for it by members of the Bethel family weeks in advance. And this continued on down to uh, the year 1926. Well, uh, it was in that year that uh, the uh, Christmas myth was exploded. This uh, occurred uh, because of uh, a member of the Bethel family by the name of uh, Norman Woodworth, who was also a, a member of the uh, Brooklyn congregation and an elder thereof. Uh, this Norman Woodworth was assigned to give the public talk on Sunday, uh, December the 19th, 1926, and uh, in the course of his uh, talk, he exposed uh, Christmas as being a pagan holiday and not based upon the Bible at all. This, of course, uh, shocked all of us who were in the audience and uh, so there was a uh, great discussion that followed his exposure of uh, Christmas as being really unchristian. When Brother Rutherford uh, returned uh, the following day or Tuesday, I, uh, this uh, matter was brought uh, to his attention at the uh, a dining room table, and uh, a great discussion followed. There were many remarks of indignation upon the part of various members of the Bethel family. I know I myself uh, uh, was uh, quite perturbed, and I spoke in favor of the celebrating uh, Christmas. So uh, Brother Rutherford also finally gave his remarks, and uh, these were not in favor of the cancellation of uh, the Christmas Day celebration that was to take place the following Saturday, uh, December the 25th. Well, uh, during that uh, uh, heated uh, debate there in the Bethel dining room, 124 Columbia Heights, why Norman Woodworth uh, remarked that uh, he did not want any member of the Bethel family to give him a Christmas gift. So um, on Christmas Eve, why his chair at the table was removed from its location and placed up against the uh, north wall of the uh, dining room all by itself. So um, we had uh, a great uh, celebration that uh, uh, Christmas day. We would have the whole day off, regardless of what day of the week it was. This time it was Saturday, uh, December the 25th. We would have a special dinner. And uh, after breakfast, uh, my members of the family would get together in groups and they would go from one room to the other just to see how many gifts uh, this brother or sister uh, or that brother or sister had received. And it was a jolly good time that we experienced. However, um, uh, this exposure of uh, Norman Woodworth concerning Christmas as being a Babylonish and pagan was not in vain, because during the uh, succeeding year, why, uh, our heads began to think about the matter, and uh, an investigation uh, was undertaken with regard to, to this uh, 
a highly disputed subject. And uh, it developed that uh, toward the end of the year 1927, why an article was published. And the writer thereof was Richard Barber, and he had been uh, uh, assigned by Brother Rutherford to write an article about Christmas. He did so, and he also exposed Christmas as having no foundation in the Bible, but being purely a pagan and uh, derived from the uh, rites of uh, ancient Babylon, the Great. So, uh, in view of that article, why the holding of uh, Christmas by the Brooklyn Bethel family uh, was called off, and all the brothers and sisters around the earth who read that uh, special article on Christmas were notified that uh, it was improper for this celebration to be observed any longer by uh, the uh, international Bible students. Sorry to say, however, that uh, uh, this Norman Woodruff began to veer away from the truth after that and began to show some sympathies for the uh, religious organization of Christendom. And it was found that he had uh, gone so far astray that uh, he had to be dismissed from the Brooklyn Bethel family. That was a uh, quite an unexpected thing uh, to happen in the case of one who had been uh, used to expose uh, one feature of uh, Babylon the Great, namely the celebration of Christmas.